Hey guys, what's up? Shao Style here, and I'm here for another tutorial. This one's gonna be on one of my favorite filters, which is the CC Radio Blur. This effect works better on keyed out footage or objects that are cut out on its own. What I mean is, in this example, I got this um, green screen footage of an owl. Just to let you know, this composition is 640 by 360, so it may not look as good. I just did, so you know, just to speed things up, because my computer is not that great. It's good, but it's not that great. So, anyways, I already got this footage keyed out. As you can see, I just did like a rough key. So, which, like I said, it's important. And I just added like a gray uh, solid in the background, just so you can see what I'm doing better. So, now, in the effects, type in CC, and you already get radio blur. This is a radio flash fastbur right here, but it doesn't work as good. So, go with CC radio blur. Now, most guys use the scratch, and you know you get that effect, which is fine uh, on certain things. But in my case, I like to use the straight zoom, and say so you increase it, and you know pretty much it does that. You know you have like a little target area where you can control where you want the zoom to to admit from. So, you know as you move like the target around, you can see that the object that is keyed out it starts to emit rays. You know. So that's why it's important that when you use this technique, uh, you do it on uh, footage that has been keyed out or an object that's been rotted out. So now they got a fading zoom, which you know works just as good. If not, I think it works a bit better. But for this tutorial, I'm just doing a straight zoom. You know, you gotta mess around with it on your own. So yeah, for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the straight zoom uh, type for the CC radio blur. Now, obviously this looks like shit, but what I do is, you get your footage, let me just name this out, select it, go to edit, duplicate, now let's see, let's rename this as, let's just say, zoom blur. Now, Click and drag the zoom blur layer underneath your owl. On your owl, let's just get rid of like the radio blur. Don't need a. So, on the effect where it has the zoom blur, you can just zoom that out. Oops, too much. Okay, and that by itself, I mean, I guess you can start to see what I'm trying to do with this uh, filter. You know, uh, pretty much it's, it's kind of cool. It's like you have like the object, but you also have kind of like this crazy um, light rays that's being emitted from the the owl, right? So I'm gonna do a quick ramp preview so you can see. You can see. Yeah, let's do three seconds. All right, so it's done doing the ramp preview. Let's just hit play, and you can pretty much see what it does. Obviously, it's like a uh, you got two copies of the same footage. The top one doesn't have like the filter, and the bottom one has that zoom blur effect. And as you can see, it's I, it makes an interesting little like effect, right? I mean, I use this for when I'm doing like a dream sequence or just something trippy. You know, you can do pretty much whatever you want. So, you know, as the owl's flying, you can see pretty much how the wings that it you know radiates all these cool light beams, you know, from the owl. But um, you can do more with that. I'm going to show you a few tricks. So let's take the same zoom blur layer. Let's put it on top of our owl footage that has no filter on it, besides the key. And let's hit add. All right. Now see, we're using the same two uh, footages, one with like the CC radio blur and one with that, besides the key light. And you know, already it did something cool, so let's just do a pre comp of this. I'm sorry, let's do a um, a ramp preview. Okay, so the ramp preview is done, so and see, as you can see, it does like a pretty interesting, like more light effect. It uh, yeah, looks like Jesus came back as an owl and he's flying towards you to save your soul and some other shit because you whack off too much on the internet. I don't know, but yeah, see. It's a very, very cool filter to use uh, once you mess with it. Um, 
Man, I really like this effect. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing that you can do with this filter. And again, I'm not changing uh, anything of the filter itself. The only thing I'm changing is the um, the mode of like the footage. So let's stop that. Now I already have a light here, a solid with a uh, optical flares light. Let me turn that on. So pretty much all I did was... Yeah, I just picked out some random like light that um, it's a free preset from uh, Video Code Pilot from the Conspiracy Pack, and I just put it off to the side here. So I uh, just put it back down here. Make it seem like there's a light source coming from like the bottom left angle here. So what I do is I get like the zoom blur, and listen, I hit let's say soft light. So let's see, it goes dark now, but let's go to our CC radio radio blur filter hit the center target and what I do is I pretty much bring the, the angle of where the the zoom is being uh, directed from so as you can see here I hope you can see it I just set it pretty much roughly close to where the light source is at And what that does is it creates kind of like a cool little like shadow effect, right? We have the light here, and it hits the owl, and it creates you know something that looks kind of like a shadow. Um, you know, you can drop down the zoom a bit. Yeah, if you want to make it darker, we can just um, let's see, add a curves to this layer. Just drop it down, and there you go. So let's do a ramp preview of this. All right, the ramp preview is done. So now let's check it out. And as you can see, it's pretty fucking cool. You know, we got our light source here from like, the bottom left. Uh, we set the zoom direction to be from the bottom left. So as you can see, we have like this. What I guess uh, gives the idea of shadows that's being created from the light source. So you know. Now, yeah, I know this ain't probably like the best tutorial to show you how to do something fancy, but I just want to show you what you can do with this filter, the CC Radio Blur. You know, the CC Radio Blur, it's, it's, a, it's within the Blur and Sharpen uh, menu and your effects presets. So, yeah, it's really cool, very versatile, and I use this for the, a lot, <laughs> actually, um, but just remember that if you want it to work properly, it, it only works on footage that is keyed out, right? Or else it's not going to work as good. So, you know, to work it properly, make sure you have some footage that's keyed out, that way, like, um, the filter knows where to create the, um, the, the zoom blurs from. Or you have to like rotoscope a specific object in your footage to be on its own so it can like um, create like the right rays or zoom and whatever the fuck you want to call them, right? So, <laughs> anyways, enough of that. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. You know, my gift of knowledge to you. And uh, please be sure to, you know, click like, subscribe. Uh, check out my other channel, uh, Shadow Style 1, Shadow Style 2. I have Shadow Style 3, but that one's under construction, so I don't know what to do with it at this time. So, yeah, please uh, find me on Facebook, Shout Style Productions, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.